Well, this afternoon, the First Minister gave a second speech on the economy, addressing a conference organised by the left-of-centre think tank, the Institute for Public Policy Research. The final report on the IPPR's Commission on Economic Justice, published last year, called for a radical overhaul of the UK economy, after concluding it's not working for people in Scotland and it's failing to deliver rising living standards for the majority of the population. This afternoon I spoke to the director of IPPR Scotland, Russell Gunson. Russell Gunson, you and your group talk about economic justice. What does that mean practically to people in Scotland? Economic justice, it means reducing child poverty, reducing poverty, increasing um, wages for those at the poorest end. But most of all, economic justice is what underpins growth in a sustainable way. Without justice, growth runs out. And what you see is the crash of 2007 or elsewhere, where unless economic growth is sustainable, we will not see the increased living standards that we need to for the long term. So in terms of that, are those are there things that the Scottish Government specifically can do and what would those things be? Is it tax powers? Is it other investment? What is it? There's lots that the Scottish Government is doing to be fair. So they've got a more progressive income tax system and a new benefit coming to tackle child poverty. But these do not meet the scale of the challenges that we face. So we need to look more ambitiously at what the Scottish Government can do. We need the UK Government to help and pull their weight. And ultimately, this is about changing behaviour. It's about changing businesses, how they employ and who they employ. And it's about changing the economic model across Scotland and across the UK so that we hardwire fairness into our business model rather than try and do fairness after the event. Isn't that just a very elegant way of saying we're going to put people's taxes up? Not necessarily. It's, if it's about behaviour change, this needn't be about more taxes or increases in taxes. It may be about rebalancing taxes, for example, between wealth and income. Across the UK, we tax income at a far greater rate than we do wealth. It might be about rebalancing between business and individuals. But mostly this is about behaviour change. So what taxes can we put in place? What policies can we put in place that change how employers behave, that change how employees behave? and that change our economy across Scotland. But why should they change? Why should, the, what should, why should they change? Why should employees change? Why should businesses change? Ultimately, this is in their own interest. So most of the evidence, and increasingly so, including at IPPR and at IPPR Scotland, would say that this justice is in the interests of the employers as much as in the interests of the employees. So it's not about taking from people. Actually, everybody can win if you can promote justice that promotes sustainable growth that promotes the economy that we wish to see for the future. Isn't there though a fundamental, there's been a lot of talk about well-being and how we shouldn't just be talking about economic growth and GDP. The First Minister has said to us that she still wants increased economic growth but she also wants well-being for the people of Scotland. Aren't those two fundamentally incompatible? We don't think that they go in the opposite direction. In fact, we think they go in the same direction. Um, you need, yes, GDP, yes, you need increases in wages, and yes, also you need businesses to be growing. But you need an economy that's delivering for people in terms of their quality of life as well. Because again, if it doesn't, what happens is the crash of 2007. That in many ways was caused by increasing inequalities and an unsustainable economic model. What we need to develop 13 years on is a sustainable economic model that can allow justice alongside prosperity, fairness alongside a stronger economy. Russell Gunson, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.